Hey, what's up guys and gals? Uh, t today is kind of a weird video. It's a question and the answers, but in the background, you're gonna see me painting. Um, I'm trying to kick off the rust because I haven't been consistently at it for the past couple of weeks. And so I just grabbed a hornet head, primed it, and here I am practicing. I did, as you can see, add the colors that I'm using. Um, I'm mainly using the Andrea Flesh set, and then I use some of their primary colors um, to add a little bit of life to it. So, but I put those on, on the video. So with that said, let's start answering some questions. Wheelers Workshop asks, in, in your videos you use oils or acrylics, which do you prefer? Which is more forgiving for a new guy? And have you ever used oil flush sets, like Abtalong's flush set? It's a great question. I get this question a lot. Um, I actually stopped using oils with figure painting a couple of years ago. I'm not against using oils for figure painting. It's just not the medium that I've chosen. Um, and I've, you know, the drying time works for me. And uh, the, I don't know, just the whole process of using acrylics works best for me. I'm not against using oils, and I think that a lot of awesome figure painters use oils, even some awesome figure painters use enamels. Uh, acrylic is just my chosen medium. And that might change in the future, um, but as for right now, as far as these videos are concerned, I'm gonna stick to using just acrylic. Paul McWilliams, do you use a retarder to slow your drawing time? And who makes the best figure? Who do you like the best? Great video, by the way. Thank you, Paul. Um, no, I never use a retarder. Um, I do use a medium glaze. If you uh, stick around at the end of this video, you'll see me start implementing uh, a medium glaze to make translucent layers using uh, magenta, yellow, and blue. Um, and as far as the best figure company goes, you know, I, it's whatever suits the situation. Um, as you guys have probably noticed, I am partial to Alpine. I also love evolution as far as military figures go. Um, but yeah, I like Andrea, I like Castle, I like uh, F FER. There's just so many awesome figure producers at the moment. It's a great time uh, to be figure painting because the options that we have are just out of this world. Russ Gosselin asks, Ian, about how many brushes do you use on a figure and what sizes? Now, Russ asked this a few months back and I think I responded with, um, I use a number two and a number one. Well, now I use a number two, I use a number one sometimes, and I definitely use a Series 7 Zero. I didn't, I, there was a confusion on uh, the Windsor Newton Series 7 Artist Series and their Miniature Series. So um, really the, the Miniature Series, um, it, they have their uses, but their, their bristles are too short. They don't carry enough paint and the bristles don't stay wet. Uh, long enough. So you, all you really need is a sharp tip. You can paint a, a 35th scale figure with a number two. You guys have seen me do it. Um, but uh, I highly recommend kind of like the do everything brush will be the artist Windsor Newton Series 7 uh, Zero. Art Lopez asks, I noticed that the sides of the figure's face are very dark. If you don't want that type of effect, do you recommend starting with a lighter base? Um, actually, I don't recommend starting with a lighter base unless you're wanting to go for a lighter flesh tone. Um, that's all subjective. So if you don't want the contrast that I'll do on a 35th scale figure, I would still start with you know, your normal mid-tone, work your way up, and then just stop on the last shadows. So a lot of times, um, I'll use black in, in my darkest shadows, and you don't have to go that far. I would just, you know, do your your normal three-step up highlight, and then start working in your shadows to achieve the contrast you want. Chris Vanderweelen asked, um, "Why don't you seal your flesh painting when you move to the uniform? And is there any particular reason? I've seen many other guys in tutorials where they recommend it. Well, every, there's a thousand ways to skin a horse, uh, but." In my experience, I'm not playing with these figures. They're not toys, they're for a static display. I'm not gaming with them. So there's really no need to, to use those. Also, the fact that um, a dull coat or a clear coat will oftentimes dull down your colors. And I don't want that. If I'm gonna spend six, seven hours, you know, painting a figure, I, I don't want to, to lose anything that I've accomplished with paint. Jungle Lands asks, Ian, will you be doing any more camouflage videos and your five tips for painting camouflage. Um, yes, of course, I'll, I'll be doing more camouflage videos in the future. Um, five tips, I, I don't know if I can come up with five, but I do know uh, reference, patience, and a sharp brush. That's that's probably my top three 
uh, bits of camouflage from my current experience uh, painting German camouflage specifically. Paul McWilliams, ouch, did you have to stick that metal rod in the poor guy's ass? Uh, well, Paul, yes, yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know another way to mount this, the seated figures. So, um, yeah, we'll see more sodomy in the future. Jungle Ends says, yep, just use the tip. We don't want to hear the pitter-patter of tiny SS feet. Thank you, Jungle Ends. I don't, I don't really understand that, but thank you. Um, I can't read um, this language, but what brand of brushes do you use? Um, just Winsor Newton Series 7. Um, there's any uh, sable haired brush will work. Um, that's the kind of the key ingredient you want to be a red sable uh, Kalinsky style brush. And um, yeah, they last longer. They're a little bit more expensive, but uh, without a doubt, uh, they are the red sables seems to be the best. And that's what everybody who I've been learning from uses. And so that tends to be what I use. Wes Kebab says, what color of the jacket? Well, Wes, uh, I mentioned it in the video. I believe you're, this is from the, uh, the first splinter camo video that I did, that I did a uh, year before last, actually. Um, it's probably a, a dark yellow or a, a desert yellow or a khaki base. Um, and you'll have to watch, go back and watch the video all the way through. I'm, I'm not sure, and it's really hard for me to watch my own work. Usually I'll post these videos, and you know I'll answer your comments and things like that, but um, going back and, and watching them, I, I, just, I, can't, I can't do it. But um, probably it was a uh, either a German dark yellow or a khaki for the base color. Taesung Harms, the... Owner of Alpine Miniatures, T Money says the Bob Ross of figure painting. Oh, that that would be a uh, kind of cool. I need to find something to beat my uh, Windsor Newtons on. Uh, it'd be way better than kicking a puppy. Okay, guys, um, those are the questions that I have this week. Um, you know, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, just actually getting in uh, back to the bench and painting again was a great exercise. And I'm sorry if this video makes it a little bit confusing, but I hope that at least we got the, the questions answered and you didn't have to look at my ugly mug for eight minutes. But uh, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.